Goldschmidt rips it out to left field. Enciarte is off to the races. They will wave him in. Relay to the plate. It's in time. Hey there, Coach Riz here, and today we're going to talk about double cuts. Double cuts are used when a batter hits a for sure double. The defense sends out a two-man relay team spaced approximately 10 yards apart. The idea being that the spacing will allow them to quickly relay good as well as bad throws from the outfield. The lead cut only attempts to relay good throws. All other throws are relayed by the trail man. If positioned correctly, short hops to the lead man will be long hops to the trail man. The basics of running a double cut are you only run it when it's a for sure double. If there were no runners on base, then the relay is going to third base. If there was a runner on first, then you line the relay up for a play at the plate. The third baseman must control third base, and the first baseman typically trails the batter into second base. On doubles hit to the left side or the shortstop side of the field, the shortstop will go out and be the lead cutoff, and the second baseman will run over and be the trailer. Goldschmidt rips it out to left field. Enciarte is off to the races. Here you see the Cardinals middle infielders getting into position after a uh, long run by the second baseman. And since this is a good throw by the left fielder, the shortstop will handle this relay and throw to the plate. Notice how the third baseman controls third base even though he would typically be the cutoff for a play at the plate to left field. In this next example, let's see what happens when the third baseman doesn't get to his proper positioning. He's going to get to third. He's going to be waved around. Here comes the throw from short. In safely is Carlos Correa with a head first slide. Springer ends up on third. The Astros have tied the game at one. And then you add that good jump to the good speed that Carlos Correa has. And you're going to score. But I love the fact that Omar Lopez is forcing this. As this shortstop relays this throw to the plate, you'll see the third baseman in his typical position as the cutoff for the left fielder on a play to the plate. However, he's out of position for a double cut. This allows the base runner in a heads up move to take a free bag. On doubles hit to the right side or the second baseman side of the field, the second baseman goes out and is the lead cutoff, and the shortstop runs over and is the trail. All of Major League Baseball got on top of that one, drills it in the gap, right center, Hernandez to the wall, a Rosarena can run, around second on his way to third, relay, not in time. And the Rays get a triple. To Communication is key to running a successful double cut, since the middle infielders typically have their back to the play. Jay, Charlie long striding it around third. He gets a green light, takes a look. Trevor on his way to third. Triple RBI, T story. Although their backs are to the play, it's important for the middle infielders to try and take a glance at the base runners so that they can help anticipate where they might be going with the baseball. And here you see the second baseman doing just that as he sets up for the this double cut. Been the Rockies we've been accustomed to seeing for so many years. The purpose of running a double cut is so that the middle infielders can relay even bad throws quickly. This means that 10 yard positioning between the lead cut and the trail cut is of utmost importance and must be drilled into the players. When done correctly, short hops to the lead guy will end up being long hops to the trail guy, and most overthrows to the lead guy will end up being good throws to the trail guy. At the youth level, we typically have our middle infielders handle all the double cut situations. The more advanced play is that doubles down the right field line, typically the second baseman and the first baseman will be your double cut, and your shortstop either covers second or hangs out just behind the pitching mound so that he can get to second base or that he can get to an overthrow of the cutoffs from the right fielder, a la Derek Jeter's famous play from many years ago in the uh, playoffs. Hopefully that clarifies double cuts. Thanks for watching.